Hello Insiders, my name is Chris and I'm an engineer on YouTube Gaming and today I'm here with my teammate Salahuddin and we're going to show you something that we're about to start testing called Clips. So Sal, you want to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, thanks Chris. I'm really excited to be on uh, the Creator Insider channel today. Uh, hi, I'm Salahuddin. I'm a product manager on the YouTube Gaming team and I work with Chris. I'm really excited to share what we've been working on. So, tell us about Clips. Sure. A few years ago, we started getting a lot of requests from our gaming creators and viewers. that They wanted to have a way for viewers to highlight fun and interesting moments on live streams in particular. We spent a lot of time thinking about how to best integrate this feature into YouTube. Because YouTube is the home not just for live streams, but also for a massive library of all of the VODs uh, that you all have uploaded. We knew that we could make something really special that could address both these VODs as well as live streams. So today I'm happy to share with you clips, a fun way for people to share part of a video with their own attribution. That sounds great, but we all want to know a little bit more. So what exactly is a clip? So up until now, videos can be shared using the watch page URL. Uh, you could also potentially add a parameter to set the start time if you want to say, oh, I want to start halfway through the video or I want to start one minute into the video. Uh, and that, that, that's great and all. But with clips, you can actually select between 5 and 60 seconds of that video or that live stream, and it generates its own unique clip URL. Uh, this particular section will play on loop directly on the existing watch page uh, for all the viewers that click on your link. Amazing. That sounds great, but we all want to see it. So do you have a demo that you can show us? Sure. I'd love to. You first click on the clip button right here. Uh, and then you first have the ability to uh, pick which section of the video you would like to clip. Um, so you can scan, again, up to 60 seconds or as small as 5 seconds and find a nice segment uh, for, you to, for you to clip. Uh, and then uh, you add a title. So here, these are Tom's bloopers. Uh, and then you tap on the share clip button. Uh, and here you have a URL that you can now uh, share to any of your social media uh, pages or copy the URL directly. Here we're going to copy the URL and then I'll show you how clip viewing works. So on clip viewing, uh, you see that you have the information that we put in earlier, like the clip title, the fact that, the, the, that you've created the clip yourself. Uh, and then these two pointers inside the video that loop endlessly between them. Uh, so you can see that that just looped. Uh, and then that's kind of how the clip uh, view page works. Uh, you can exit this clip viewing experience by tapping on the X, by tapping on the watch full video button, or by clicking anywhere else outside of this area, uh, including scanning on the, the player itself. So let's try it out by tapping on the X button here. You can see that now the video is just playing exactly where it was working before. Now I'm going to show you how to use clips on a live stream. Uh, so here we're watching Valkyrie. Uh, she's talking about her background uh, and how she got into streaming, which is really great. It's a really awesome moment uh, in her stream. So now we hit the clip button. And you can see it pulls the last 15 seconds of the live stream. And we can now edit around and see the particular segment that we want to highlight, uh, which is about her story and her background. Now we can share the clip in the same way that we did with the VOD. And this can be added to social media in the same exact way. And here we're just going to show you what the clip looks like when it's played back while a live stream is live. So you can see this is the clip playback uh, happening in real time. Uh, you can see where it is in the, in the video itself, in the live stream. And we can watch the full video at any particular point in time. Those were the demos of how to make a clip on VOD and live. Now I want to show you where you can find the clips you've made. So on the home page, right underneath your watch later button, on the left side here, you'll see a clips tab. You'll we'll also see this Clips tab on your mobile device as well. Uh, so let's click on the Clips tab. 
And in this clips tab, you'll see a list of all the clips that you have made, uh, as well as a way to manage your clips. So if you click on this uh, three dot menu here, you'll see a share button. You'll see a way to delete any clips that you've already made, if you'd like to do that. Tapping on the share button gives you the URL of that clip already. Um, so you can share this again. You can also click through on the clip and, and start watching the clip again, if you'd like. And yeah, so that's the, that's the clips tab. So to recap, clips lets your viewers take five to 60 seconds of your videos. It gives them a short title and allows them to say something fun and interesting. And they can take the clip that is generated and share it with their friends or the rest of your community. Clips can be used on all of your videos, all your live streams, with a few exceptions. Clips can't be used on kids' content. Clips can't be used on live streams without DVR. Clips can't be used on live streams over eight hours long. And clips can't be used on premieres while they're live. Exactly. And one thing that's really cool is that the playback of the clip happens on top of the video. So all the original modernization settings apply and the user is one tap away from instantly watching the full video or the live stream. This is especially useful during live streams. Yeah, we definitely think our live streaming creators are going to love clips. They've been asking for it for a long time and we're really excited to get into their hands. So the question on everyone's mind is, when can we start using clips? We'll test clips with a small number of gaming creators first and slowly expand as we get more feedback. Clips will be available on all Creator Insider videos going forward as well. We've added some of our favorite outtakes at the end of this video, so you can try the feature out yourself. We'd love to hear feedback on ease of use, layout, design, and any general feedback in the comments below. Thanks, Elodie. We think you are all going to love clips, so please try it out, create a clip, share it in the comments below, and tell us what you think. From us, the creators of YouTube, to you, the YouTube creators, have a great day, Thank you so much and keep it real. First news flash of 2020. Hello, insiders. News flash time. Page on mobile. Why do I have these earbuds in? Well, I started with them and might as well keep them in. Users often think of their videos when. Mm, shit. He must be talking about. Re <laughs> shit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All right, Lauren, you got to cut a bunch of this shit out. So uh, we'll start the interview now. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Your signal is coming in five by five. All right, here we go. Five by five, baby. Five by right. five. I don't know what that means, but good. Let's do it. It means crystal clear. How's, how's the background? Japan, Korea. The hell's IE? Uh, Ireland? I don't know what the fuck IE is. I'm gonna guess it's Ireland. Don't make no sense. Okay. It's Friday. Dun, 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 dun. That. Hey guys, can you keep it down?